Yo, like, subscribe, and all. Hey, drop a like, and I, it's really important, man. I think it's really important that you just uh, <clears throat> that you hit the um, that you hit the notifications bell, man. Because this third shift is getting to me, and if I got some good and some nice juicy plays, man, I, I, I want you guys to catch them. You don't have to play them, but I want you to catch the plays. You know what I'm saying? So uh, hit the notification bell. Even if you don't like it, even if you don't like it, drop a like, though. Let me know I ain't doing this for nothing. But even if you don't like it, hit the notifications bell. It's possible that, I, you know, I want, I might have to start going live and I might have to, I, I'm going to have to cut it down, cut it down. You know what I'm saying? Cut it down. Uh, but you know, cut the videos down, you know, uh, and just probably give out straight picks what I don't like to do, but, uh, it's probably going to end up going that route. Now, uh, let's just talk about a few plays here and let's get out of here. Okay. Um, mm, let's go to MLB. Okay. We're at MLB. All right. Uh, where are we, where are we at in the MLB streets? Uh, game lines. Let's go to game lines. Let's go to. Because we're on DraftKings. Let's start here. The first game on the docket, we got the Cubs. Let's start with battle props, okay? So, um, I'm going to like hitch runs and RBIs here in this spot here, uh, uh, in this game. Um, the Cubs, they've been hitting right as well. Fado, not one of my favorite pitchers here, okay? Now, we're going to get really good uh, value on Christopher Morrell here at plus 115. I'm going to sprinkle some on the uh, hitch runs and RBIs for uh, Chris, Chris, Christopher Morrell at plus 115 there. I think today is the day that he gets, you know, gets back in that, that category there. Cody Bellinger, Parley Peace, I like that. Dandre Swanson, hits runs and RBIs, I like that, as well as Hap and Candelario, okay? But you're going to get good value here. Now, hit parlays, I like these guys and hit parlays as well. And you can also add uh, Kerry Carpenter and um, um, Riley Green there. Um, if I was doing a hit parlay, I would probably take Dancy, Dansby Swanson. You know, let, let me clear these plays out. Um, I would, let me clear these plays out. So if I was doing a hit parlay, I would go to same game parlay mode right here. Bam. Um, just to get to some plus money here, um, I would probably go to, uh, let's see, or a decent minus 110 or something. I mean, hmm. Kerry Carpenter popped a little harder than Riley Green for me today for some reason. But, you know, it is what it is. Let me fix this camera a little bit, get some of that splurge up out of there. He popped a little bit harder for me, but it is what it is. Let's say I can't talk you off Riley Green and Kerry Carpenter, Kerry Carpenter, if not both. Even if you want to take those two guys for a hit parlay, uh, you can get plus 100 right there. All right. Um, as far as the Cubs here, um, definitely for a hit parlay would probably be Cody Bellinger and um, Kerry Carpenter, a minus 105 or a Riley Green. Um, minus 105 for both of those guys. Um, three, four legs, two from each one. Riley Green, Carpenter, Bellinger, and probably mm, uh Hap. I mean, all these guys are gonna play Swanson. And since I was already on um Morrell, you give Morrell a, a hit for a minus 165 for him. I think he gets a hit today. So uh, you know, that that's that's how that's how it was looking for me. All right. Uh for hits, runs, and RBIs, though, outside of same game parlay mode, uh, hits, runs, and RBIs, I am looking at uh, some value today. Um, I want to sprinkle something on some value today, so I definitely would be looking at um, uh, Christopher Morrell, hits, runs, and RBIs sitting at um, plus 115 a day, okay? So uh, let me toss that over there into the section. Crystal for Morel. All right. Now let's get out of here and go back to the lines. Next game here on the docket, we're looking at, uh, let's go to picture props because that's probably what it's going to be. And we're looking at uh, San Francisco Giants at, at the Philadelphia Phillies here. We have an over under of uh, uh, eight and a half here. 
uh, San Francisco Giants, you know, they're rolling out the bullpen like always, I want to say. And then you got Nola on the mound, okay? So right now, uh, Nola, I had Nola's out here at a parlay piece, sitting at 17 and a half at minus 195. I like that there. Uh, you can put it at a, with a money line or whatever the case may be uh, to get you, to get you some uh, plus money there. Strikeouts here. Now for prize picks, I took his strikeouts at a six. And uh, it's sitting at six and a half here. Um, his outs, uh, lately, he hasn't been getting there. I ain't going to lie. Uh, looking at some of his outs there lately, um, he pitched out 17 and a half outs is, is six innings. He pitched uh, five innings versus Toronto, five innings versus Washington, five innings versus Kansas City, four innings versus Pittsburgh. Prior to that, he had hit that number 17 and a half at one, two, three, four games in a row. I think this is a good spot for him to get back in the, in the, in the outs category. Um, versus right-hand pitching, um, last 30 days, San Francisco Giants, they just haven't been, you know, getting in there. Uh, WRC Plus, they are uh, – Dead last, last 30 days in WRC Plus versus right-hand pitching and striking out at a 24.7% clip there, all right? Um, last 14 days versus right-hand pitching, WRC Plus, they are last again and striking out at a 25% uh, WRC Plus right there. And then, um, I mean, uh, WRC, I mean uh, dead last of WRC Plus and uh, striking out at a 25% K rate. And then, um, again, um, last week, they are 67 WRC plus. That's like good for fourth worst and striking out at 28.7% K rate, 167 plate appearances. So, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I like it. And then even if it goes to 18 and a half, I might end up taking a stab there. Um, so, you know, and that's going to be plus money. Okay. Um, the strikeouts for Nola, um, he's hit this number. Um, it's six. He's hit six strikeouts in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight straight games. Um, so on prize picks, you can get his strikeouts at a six, uh, uh, at a six, uh, at a six, and solid six. And then his fantasy score on prize picks, you can, you can, you, I, I couldn't talk you off his fantasy score either. Okay. So looking at the board here on prize picks, uh, you can get his strikeout prop at um, if it would load up um, at six, which means you can get a push there if it hasn't moved. Um, hopefully, it hasn't moved. I took it at a six. Uh, MLB. Um, what else? Uh, strikeout. Um, and then Nola at a still at a six, meaning you can get a push there. Okay. Um, now. Uh, that's what I'm looking at for that game. His hits, I mean, his strikeouts at six on prize picks, his outs at 17 and a half, and uh, his fancy score is at 35 and a half. I lean towards the over there. All right. Uh, next game on the docket here, we're looking at um, St. Louis Cardinals and Pittsburgh Pirates. Here's a game that I expect to be runs to be put up here. I expect runs to be put up here. We have a uh, over under 10 in this spot. I just haven't pinpointed any bats that I really like yet. Um, Pittsburgh Pirates, uh, pitcher to be determined right now, so it is what it is. New York Mets at Atlanta Braves here. Atlanta uh, gets them a lefty today. Uh, New York Mets, they're, they're running out Peterson and then Winans on the Atlanta Braves side. Winans, I got some love for Winans. It is what it is. All right, so let's look at the batter props here. That's what I'm looking at here. And Atlanta, they're getting the lefty. So what I like to say about Atlanta and lefties, historically, I've always targeted Riley, okay, uh, versus uh, versus lefties here. Um, I expect uh, Atlanta to put up runs. It's hot. It's humid. Um, so the ball should carry there. So that that that's 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 one thing there. So looking at hits, runs, and RBIs, um, um, we already know what's up with the usual suspects. Who the usual suspects are, and that's that. You know what I'm saying? You know the usual suspects and Yakunas and stuff like that. You know, so. Uh, they just added Michael Harris. I was really, really looking for Michael Harris. So he's he's come uh, versus lefties. He's batting about over 300, over probably about 320, 330 versus lefty. So uh, hits, runs, and RBIs are in play here, okay? Is that a parlay piece right now? It is what it is. Um, Who else? Um, 
Arsha, um, really, his splits are really undeniable on the road. He's bad like 400 on the road versus lefties, but he's at home, and his average goes down to about a 290-something. But his hits on an RBI, you're going to get good value at minus 110. At, uh, uh, I'm probably going to sprinkle something on that, okay, um, for the number there. Um, you're going to get value from Matt Olson here. Going up against a lefty, so you're going to get a minus 155 as a parlay piece for a one and a half hits runs in RBIs. Um, Sean Murphy, um, he's in the lineup. Couldn't talk off of that. Um, Azuna's not in the lineup. Interesting. Hmm. Let me take a look. That's the bat who I'm really, really looking at today. Um, let's see if Azuna is in the lineup. Yeah, so he's not on the books right now. Azuna, give me his hits, runs, and RBIs, no matter what they are. And you can, you know... Unless I didn't see him. Right. Azuna, I don't see him up here. So, yeah. Whenever Azuna pops out, I'll be looking for his hit runs and RBIs. Uh, and possibly a home run here. All right? So, I'm looking at his hit runs and RBIs up to a home run. Home run candidates for me in this game is Azuna and Austin Riley. Uh, Austin Riley and Azuna. Okay? Um, I couldn't talk off anybody. All right. And then give me, give me, give me, the, give me these guys. Give me, um, give me the Atlanta Braves. Um, let's see how I want to play this. First half run line. Let's see what the first half run line is. If the site loads up for me. Let's see. First five. Moneyline parlays for sure. Uh, Moneyline parlay run line straight. Uh, first five run line. Mm, no, it's minus uh, one and a half. The run line. So uh, if you don't, okay. First five money line. First five result. So the first five result includes a tie in there. So. I like the first five result at minus 150. So uh, I like the first half result, full game. Uh, money line is minus 192, but you can get the result at, that's like minus a half at minus 152 with the tie in there. The tie, if it tie, you lose. Okay. So, you know, it is what it is. All right. So, uh, the run line, I don't know if I'll take the run line, but the result, I like the result there. I'll take the uh, result at a minus 150, and that's a part. You could put that in same game parlays, okay? So there you have that, all right? Um, Yeah, but, you know, everybody's in play for hits, runs, and RBIs on the Atlanta side, Uh, but I'm really looking at Azuna here because I might want to I might want to up the ante on him. And uh, Austin Riley, hits, runs, and RBIs, two and a half, possibly a home run there okay um mariners just been on fuego okay so uh it's gonna be seattle mariners or nothing for me in this spot and you know everybody knows julio rodriguez you don't need me to tell you he's been hot it's gonna be my mariners or nothing for me and uh what do we got here um um boston red sox at houston astros here now First of all, we got a lefty-lefty matchup for Kyle Tucker. I like his hits, runs, and RBIs, hit parlays, whatever the case may be. Um, and and I couldn't talk you off your and Alvarez either. Um, so, you know, all the lefties from both sides of the ball uh, uh, here, they're in play, okay? just just the, It's just the lefty. It should be a lefty party here. However, um, that's what I'm looking at. I can't talk about none of the lefties. I expect runs to be put up in this one. I don't know who's going to win this game. Um, we've got an over under nine in this spot. Couldn't talk you off the over here. Um, Javier's been, he ain't been Javiering. He's been giving up runs. 
And then Houston Astros, they've always they've been known to, you know, they've been known to uh they've been known to uh go anemic here. So I couldn't talk you off anything here. Favorite bats, favorite two bats here. How is gonna be um Tucker, one A, one B with uh with uh Alvarez, and then uh it's it's a lot of lefties on uh, Boston side, but of course uh Devers he's been on one, so hopefully he he can keep the keep keep the train rolling. Couldn't talk you out of adding any one of those guys that hits runs and RBIs or uh hit parlays. Uh, Miami Marlins at San Diego Padres, man. If Weathers is on the mound, then Rack them up, just rack them up, okay? I don't know how long he'll be out there, but he'll be out there giving a, giving it up to lefties and righties. So uh, this could be a game where you can see a lot of hits and a lot of runs put up. Uh, so like a game that you could probably stack up hits, runs, and RBIs. Uh, if if Weathers is on the mound, which I think he's going to be on the mound, um, I don't know how long he'll be out there, but. Ryan Weathers, a lefty. Yeah, so Tatis, Machado, I mean, Sanchez, Grisham um, with lefty-lefty splits. I mean, everybody. So uh, it's like a, it's you know, it, that's how I'll attack this one with hit parlays and things of that nature. And uh, it'll probably, if he's on the mound, uh, first five full game, my, uh, San Diego Padres, okay? Last week, Miami had been hitting right as well, but Mm, we'll see. You know, I don't know. They've been leading off with, uh, with. Uh, I guess that's when Jazz Chisholm came back, and they've been leading off with Solaire. So we'll see. Um, we'll see. But uh, I, I, I like Manny Machado. Even Grisham, Grisham hits runs and RBIs is intriguing. Uh, one minus one ninety uh, parlay piece here. I think I'm gonna add that to a parlay or something like that, especially if he's in line. If he's in the lineup, but uh. Top bats for me, especially if they if, if Weathers is pitching. Um, uh, Tatis and um, Tatis, Kim. Oh man, Tatis. I don't know who I would rather who it is between Tatis, Kim, and um, and Machado. Shit, I like him. Tatis hits runs and I'll be sitting at plus one fifteen at two and a half. Uh, Kim at a minus one twenty five. That's good value there. And then um, Machado at a minus one forty. So um, plenty of hit parlays from this game. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't talk you off of. All right. Um, same thing with this Kansas City Royals at Oakland. Oakland Athletics. Right now, I, I, you, if you know, you know. With, with, when it comes to Bobby Witt Jr., but I am looking at Brent Rooker um, at plus one fifteen. You're going to get good value there. Uh, I, I like that. I'm going to sprinkle something on him um, plus one fifteen, and I'm going to sprinkle something on Zach at a minus one hundred five. There, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hits runs and RBIs. Uh, Kansas City Royals. They've been hitting righties really, really well. You guys already know that. I'm just talking about the uh, on the Oakland side of things right now. And then the last game that I'm going to talk about here is the uh, Texas Rangers at Diamondbacks game here. Um, I was looking at Christian Walker hits runs and RBIs at a minus one ten. He's been hitting lefties okay, so I couldn't talk you off of that. But you know, are they going to manufacture runs? You know what I'm saying? So uh, maybe a hit parlay for him, and probably just bail out on the hits runs and RBI. Maybe just a hit, just throw him in a hit parlay or something. Corey Seager is self-explanatory, always in play, and um. Uh, Nathaniel Lowe, uh, I was looking at his hits, runs, and RBIs at minus 135, okay? That just about sums it up for me right there for today, guys. Um, Peace out, fam. Peace out.